Hello there, and welcome to the first official episode of The Kids Corner. And now to get things started off, it's rhyme time, and the chosen rhyme is Jack and Jill. Okay, so here we go. Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Jack fell down and broke his crown and Jill came tumbling after. Up Jack got and home did trot as fast as he could caper. He went to bed to mend his head with vinegar and brown paper. Rightio, now it's time for a little bit of a fun game for you. Just hold up your hands like this. This game is called Five Little Piggies. So I want you all to hold up your hands. And this is how the game goes. This little piggy went to market. This little piggy stayed at home. This little piggy have roast beef, and this little piggy had none. And this little piggy went wee 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 all the way home. Now that could also be known as a counting rhyme, and there are lots of them, but it's not what it's not all the show here is about. So how about I take us into story time now? with <clears throat> the Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carl. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. There you go, there's a little egg laying on the leaf in the light of the moon. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop! Out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. There you see, 
the sun coming up and the, there's the caterpillar hatching from the egg. He started to look for food. On Monday, he ate through one apple, but he was still hungry. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears, but he was still hungry. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums, but he was still hungry. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries, but he was still hungry. On Friday, he ate through five oranges. But he was still hungry. On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream, uh, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. That night, he had a stomach ache. I'm not surprised. The next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf. And after that, he felt much better. Now he wasn't hungry anymore, and he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big fat caterpillar. He built a small house called a cocoon around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon and pushed his way out. There's a cocoon. He was a beautiful butterfly. And so ends the very hungry caterpillar. By Eric Carle. <laughs> okay, guys. Okay. That, I'm afraid. will be all the time we have for this inaugural episode. I hope you enjoyed it, and the second of these episodes will be coming soon. Until then, it's time to say goodbye. So this is the way we say goodbye, say goodbye, say goodbye. This is the way we say goodbye after a fun and educational show. Bye.